Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to episode three, where we are modding the Squire Sonic Series Bronco to see how great we can get at the sound. In this episode, we're gonna talk about shielding. Let's see how quiet we can get this bass. Here we go. So out of the box, this Squire Bronco bass does not come with any shielding at all. There's nothing behind the pick guard and there's nothing in the cavity. And with this being an unopposed single coil pickup, it's pretty noisy. So I want to see whether or not some copper foil tape shielding can make this bass quieter. In this video, in addition to using our ears to try to see whether or not a difference was made with shielding, we're also going to add some objective measures. I'm running everything in Logic Pro and I'm going to engage a loudness meter and we're gonna measure how loud the noise actually is before and after shielding. First, as a reference, I wanna show you some of my other studio bases and let's see how noisy or quiet they are. So this is my custom f base short scale. And uh, here's a second pick guard uh, that f base made for me. And there's copper tape all the way uh, behind the pickguard, and the cavity is shielded as well. So let's plug this in. Now to make the noise uh, more audible over YouTube audio, I've engaged a 12 dB boost on the bass channel. This is a humbucker, so it's kind of not fair in comparison uh, with the Bronco, but volume knob wide open, tone knob wide open. Now let's measure the noise. Right now it's reading minus 69.9. That's pretty quiet. Now in my studio, we've rewired the entire house with modern wiring and the half of the house that the studio sits in is actually on a separate panel. We've gotten rid of most of the dimmers uh, in the house and there's nothing near uh, or close by to the studio. We've gotten rid of most of the fluorescent lights. And in the studio space, I'm running two different Furman power conditioners. So for a house, uh, without going crazy with grounding rods 30 feet into the ground, this is a pretty quiet recording space. Now, to generate some noise to make it more applicable to kind of real life applications, I'm going to employ the use of my Galleon Kruger 800RB amplifier. Not so much as an amp, but as a noise generator from the large transformer that's inside. So let's turn it on and let's make some noise. So in close proximity to the amp, we're let that level out. That's measuring minus 57. That took a while to level out. Let's turn the amp off. Let's just use the single coil neck pickup on this Atelier Z Jazz bass. So just neck pickup, bridge is off, tone wide open. We'll let that level out. Minus 55, well, minus 56.3. Now let's turn on the noise maker. Minus 43.9. Now the benefit of having jazz pickups is if you engage the bridge pickup all the way, the noise goes away. Now it's time to measure the Bronco.
We're only three episodes in, but the volume pot decided to become intermittent. So I've had to replace that with a uh, CTS 250K pot. Um, that's why they look different. All right, let's turn the Bronco up, volume up, tone all the way up. Minus 51.5. Let's turn on the noisemaker. Forty six point six. All right, well, let's do the second part of the experiment now that we have our control measurements done. And let's just put copper shielding on the pick guard and let's see whether or not that makes a difference. Let's go. All right, now as you can see, I have applied the copper foil tape all around the back of the pickguard and I have reinstalled all the pots. Now, I prefer to use the copper foil tape over the shielding paint only because there's less mess to clean up, it doesn't stink, and uh, you can cut the foil tape to any shape you want. So I just think it's way easier to work with. Now it's really, really important that the shielding copper tape uh, is connected to ground. Otherwise, uh, it wouldn't really work. The other good reason for using this particular coil tape is it is advertised as having a conductive adhesive, which means all the overlapping pieces will be one continuous piece of copper. So let's put the uh, meter on it to prove that we have good conductivity all the way around the shield. So I'm just gonna put this on different parts. And as you can tell from the meter, I have good conductivity all the way around the copper sheet. Now let's see whether or not it conducts to ground. So there you go. And now to the bridge because I have a bridge ground wire right here. So that's perfect. All right, let's go back to the studio and see whether or not we can kill some of the noise. All right, let's put this shielded pickguard to the test. Now, before shielding, the Bronco uh, noise was measuring at minus 51.5 LUFs. Now again, the closer that number is to zero, the louder it is. Let's plug it in. Volume up, tone all the way up. We'll let it settle out. It is now reading. It's improved to minus 54.7. So that is an improvement by uh, about three LUF units. I gotta say it doesn't sound all that different, but objectively, there was a little bit of an improvement. Let's shield the rest of the cavity and let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, we have now shielded the entire cavity and let's put the meter on it to make sure it is continuous. That's good. Now I've also soldered in another ground wire connecting uh, the cavity shielding to the ground of the pot. So let's see whether or not that is continuous. It is, and that should also be continuous with the shielding tape on the back of the guard. And it is. We're good to go. Let's go back to the studio. And we're back. Now the pick guard is completely shielded. The cavity is completely shielded. Everything is continuous and all the shielding is grounded. Let's see how much quieter this Bronco bass is now. Volume up. 
tone all the way up. Let's reset the meter. I gotta say it doesn't sound that much more quiet. but it's now reading minus 55.4. So that is an improvement of almost four luff units compared to no shielding at all. And it's about of a 0.7 improvement. So less than one luff unit improvement from only having shielded the pick guard. Let's turn on a noisemaker. Reset the meter. This is now reading minus 47.4. So this is an improvement compared to no shielding at all by almost a full luff unit. Is this a dramatic improvement? I don't think so. I think uh, the numerically and objectively, uh, the numbers got a little bit better, but I don't think this bass is that much more quiet uh, than it was before we shielded it. Having said that, there are some limitations to this experiment. Like I said before, this room is relatively quiet, uh, so it's entirely possible that when I bring this bass out to a live venue with you know stage lighting and other RF type interference, that it might be a dramatic improvement. Uh, but in this studio setting, it doesn't sound like a dramatic improvement. Yes, there are some numerical improvements, uh, but it's definitely not a night and day improvement. So I think it really does come down to this being an unopposed single coil. And I think single coils just hum. It's part of the charm. Um, like it or not, that's just how that single coil pickup works. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I'm gonna keep the shielding on because I've already done it. But stay tuned for episode four.